What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another destiny 2 video and today we're going to discuss and I'm going to reveal all the new information We have learned over the past day or two about the nine new supers coming with the forsaken DLC on September 4th But before we get into that guys as per usual Let me mention a something I'm giving back to all of my most beautiful and loyalist of subscribers every single month people I'm giving away a fully customizable controller for either xbox or playstation to be with a chance of winning drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below and enter the gleam link giveaway linked at the top of the video description fast simple and legit good luck you sexy bastards okay so now this video is obviously going to contain some spoilers so if you want to stay spoiler free i'd leave right now if i were you all this information comes from Game Informer, whose website can be found linked within the video description. A massive thanks to them for sure. Okay, so we know about the nine new supers and how they will be introduced with a four second DLC. One per subclass, three per character class. We kind of know what they are. The Dolphin Diving Titan, the Hunter's Throwing Knife, the Warlock's Kamahamahamaha, and so forth. But that is all we really know. But thanks to Game Informer's latest magazine, we get much more new information on these 9 supers. Now these supers will have new trees within previous subclass supers. An example can be seen on screen now, something I just put together in Photoshop. Uh, so let's get into the actual supers people and start with the Titan and the Sentinel. This tree will be called the Code of the Commander. And these are some of the new nodes this tree will offer. Melees cause explosions, but all void damage also attaches a void detonator and any subsequent damage causes the detonator to go off and attach detonators to enemies caused in the explosion damn grenade energy partially recharges for you and nearby allies when detonators trigger the super is called the banner shield it can still be used for offense like control but holding guard creates a barrier wall of light that absorbs enemy attacks but allows ally attacks to pass through jesus that sounds epic to be honest, in my opinion, the Sentinel is just wasted. I mean, I hardly see anybody using it, and it's clearly not as good as the other two Titan Supers. This, I think, will change that. Moving on to the Sunbreaker Titan, and the addition is called the Code of the Devastator. Throw your hammers with the melee button, but it remains in the world. Risk retrieving it where it fell to fully recharge your melee ability. Damn, so basically you got a kind of a throwing knife, that's pretty cool. This also triggers health regen when you pick up your hammer. Wow! The more solar ability kills you get, the higher your damage stacks up to three times. The super is called Siege Hammer, creates a flaming mule that hits like an earthquake and leaves behind flame tornadoes. Absolutely ridiculous people, that sounds pretty epic. Now the Titan Striker Edition is called the Code of the Missile. While airborne, melee to slam into the ground like a bunker buster and gain super energy for your trouble. If you pick up ammo while sliding, you automatically reload your equipped weapon and increase weapon damage for a short time. The super is called the Thunder Crash and it sends you hurtling great distances like a missile to hit a targeted area like a meteor strike. Absolutely epic people. This is that dolphin dive we've seen on previous trailers. Cannot wait to use this. I really can't. It's going to be some fun times for sure. Moving on to the Hunters. Now the Hunters Night Stalker edition is called the Wear the Wraith. Your melee smoke bomb heavily damages and slows those in its path. Nail the perfect precision kill against your foe to vanish and gain true sight. What? The super is called Spectral Blades and it drops you into a veil of shadows to slip behind foes and stab them before they know you're even there. Absolutely epic people. This we know sends you in, well kind of invisible. You're like a running shadow of smoke and you look fast as heck. Can't wait to use this. Moving on to the Hunter's Gunslinger. And this tree is called the Way of a Thousand Cuts. Knife trick melees fling out a fan of burning blades. In turn, killing burning enemies recharges your knife attack and burning enemies also recharge your dodge. The super is called Blade Barrage. Doubles down on your knife skills to expel a volley of explosive knives. Damn! Moving on to the Hunter's Arc Strider and this tree is called a Way of the Current. Slide before a melee to unleash a staff powered uppercut and any melee hits increase your reload speed. All your arc abilities electrify your enemies and subsequent melee strikes disorient them and refuel your abilities. Use your staff super like normal if desired, but will wing guard means that you can guard by spinning your staff, reflecting back projectiles, and tripling your staff's damage afterwards. <laughs> no, 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 
it sounds so good, people. It sounds so good. Now we're going to move on to the Warlocks and the Void Walkers additions called the Tumor of Vision. A new Atomic Breach melee ability creates a Void Explosion at range. While holding the grenade button down creates a short range area explosion supernova. Any void ability kills now heal you and grant ability energy. The super is called the Nova Warp and it empowers you with transidimensional hopping abilities letting you repeatedly teleport short distances and then erupt a burst of energy. Awesome! The Warlock Stormcrawler edition is called the Achievement of Control. Tap the melee button to fling out a long distance electrical ball that eventually detonates and flings a lightning bolt straight downward. Arc kills sometimes create ionic traces, a spark of raw energy that travels across the ground towards you, which can be collected to recharge abilities. The super is called the Chaos's Reach, fires a long range blue beam of intense and focused damage dealing which can be deactivated early to save energy. That sounds pretty cool too people. And lastly we have the Warlock's Dawnblade and this tree is called the Attunement of Grace. Melee attack burns bad guys but empowers allies. Wait, so you can melee your own teammates, empowering them? What is this, people? Transform your grenade by holding the button into a blessing, a projectile that heals allies and drops retrievable overshield orbs. Wow! The super is called the Well of Radiance, slams your solar sword into the ground, creating a wide radius aura that rapidly heals and empowers your friends. Any ability that heals or empowers helps regen your non-super abilities. I mean, damn people, that sounds absolutely epic. And Bungie have gone another level with supers. I mean, these are all way better than I first imagined. I mean, way, way better. I mean, this is sort of thing we would not have got with Destiny 2 Day 1, when everything was just controlled and balanced and kind of boring. This is taking a step outside of that box for sure. And to be honest, it's the way the game's going with all these new exotics or the exotic buffs to armors and weapons. Now we've got some crazy supers coming too. Should definitely be fun times for sure, people. And I cannot wait until September 4th. It's gonna be absolutely amazing, people. But let me know down below within that comment section which super here sounds most interesting to you. To me, I love the sound of the Ark Strider with the sliding uppercut. That sounds ridiculous. Also, the Warlock's uh, Stormcrawler's Attunement of Control sounds absolutely epic too, as well as the Sentinel as well. I can't wait to see how that works. But guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and want to stay up to date with the latest Destiny 2 news, be sure to subscribe. Thanks as always for stopping by, people, and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you and I Will carry on We never get it right